Welcome back, fam, to my channel. Don't forget, May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and mental illness does not discriminate. It doesn't matter your social, economic background, your ethnic background, your race, your gender, your color. Mental illness is real, real, and we have to address this issue. We already know that the government is not pouring enough money and funding into mental health. We know that. So we have to stay on top of our politicians. We have to do as much as we could do as a community to keep mental illnesses on the forefront. A lot of people suffer in silence. This young lady that I'm about to read this story about, I mean, do this video about, she suffered in silence, only 19 years old, and she had had enough but the unfortunate thing is she never made anyone aware of her suicidal ideation, suicidal ideation. Alana Miller, she was 19 years old, Southern University and AM College student and cheerleader who had a bright future ahead of her, but she didn't see it like that. She thought she had done everything she could do in her years to please everyone else except herself. So she decided she wasn't gonna try anymore. That's the sad thing. So, may this day bring me rest and peace. I have fought this urge since my early teenage years. I gave this life all the fight that I had to everyone who has entered my life. I'm so grateful. And I can only imagine how this may find you. I have been surrounded by people who may have honestly thought that I was okay, but I haven't been okay for a while. I've struggled so much through just this year alone, from COVID to tearing my ACL, to nearly failing all my classes, to the people in my life, I pray, you learn to vocalize your feelings and get the help that you need always. I've failed at that and I'm afraid it's too late. That's very sad. She said, make sure you vocalize your feelings to someone so you can get the help you need. Mom, thank you so much. I pray you know I'm at rest now. You would have given anything to see me happy. You have given everything to see me happy. I'm happy in the waters where everything is still and peaceful. I have written so many suicide notes in my life, but finally I've reached my end. I hope this teaches everyone to check on quote your strong friends be present always i'm contradicting myself but never give up i know that i'm letting a lot of people down but what i'm about to do the truth is i've already let down so many people throughout my life and it just feels unbearable that's pretty sad 19 and you think you have disappointed and let down so many people that you no longer want to live? My God, I've lost my connection to God. The devil seems to have won and that's okay. I blame no one for this. I thank everyone for all they've done and I'm so, so sorry. But thinking about how everyone else will feel about my death is not enough either. I've tried to please and make everyone else happy my entire life. I've been dead inside for too long. To everyone I love, just remember that this is not your fault. And I pray you don't find guilt in my situation. To my granddad. I wish you were here to tell me I'm being stupid, to tell me it's not worth it, but you left me and found your own peace. I've always been stubborn and prideful, just like you. I've always dreamed of becoming 
so many things that I am today, but there just aren't enough. I'm not enough. I haven't felt enough for a while, but I say all this to say, I'm done fighting. The battle is over and I pray everyone finds peace in that. That's pretty sad. 19 years old. And that's the letter she wrote. Just a couple minutes before she decided to take her own life. What pressures and stress can a 19 year old have? Many, many pressures and stress. Stress of school, stress of home, stress of athletes, stress of finances, stress of wanting to be counted, when it, wanting to be validated. They have so many pressures that we're just not aware of or we don't make ourselves aware of. And because this young lady didn't make her family aware of it and she suffered in silence, she, she couldn't bear it anymore. So she said, this is it. I can't take it anymore. I've pleased them. I've tried to please everybody and I failed you because our expectations sometimes is too much. And we need to learn just because we expect them to be doctor, lawyers, nurses, engineers, scientists, NFL players, NBA players, actresses, actors, that's not what they want. And so when they feel as though they're not meeting your expectation, they feel like they have failed us. She didn't fail us. She was only 19. How could she have possibly failed someone? But she had been dealing with this mental struggle for a long, long time. To think suicide ideations since she was a teenager, that's a long period of time. And no one even knew. So they couldn't get the professional help she need. So I ask and I urge you, if you think you are struggling with any type of mental illness and you can't find the answer, reach out to someone who can lead you to people who can help you, professional people. Talking to your friends is not enough. Sometimes talking to your family is not enough, but that's a start. For someone to see, hey, listen, I'm crying out for help. And then possibly they can lead you to the right professional people who would help you. This is an unfortunate story. This is a heartbreaking story as I am a mother and I am a grandmother of teenagers. And I often wonder if sometimes we are putting too much pressure on them. And if so, we need to put ourselves in check. We need to realize People are not going to be who you want them to be. Allow them to be themselves. And maybe it will eliminate some of these thoughts and this pressure that they endure. Thanks for watching. Please comment below and let me know what you think. Don't forget to keep this family in your prayers and your thoughts.